Hey guys, welcome to the patio. We got a lot to talk about today. Yesterday was a basically a national holiday, a new holiday. It ain't basically, it is a national holiday. Okay, well we'll talk about the Juneteenth celebration and what does Ooh. that mean to you and Father Fortenberg got a lot to talk about there. We're going to talk about RFK Jr. When he was on Joe Rogan's show, if you hadn't listened, go check it out. We got some excerpts to talk about. This man went all outside the the lines. We're going to talk about that. We, we're going to talk about God Save the Queen, Jamie's favorite person, <laughs> the Queen of England. But first of all and foremost, Father Fortenberry, how are you I this am lovely morning? Doing mm. well. Look, it, you know, the, the joy of celebrating Juneteenth and Pride Month all at once just has my heart filled with pride and Juneteenth. It's kind of strange <laughs> though that Pride Month is the same as the other month, but we'll talk about it in a minute. Mm. Oh, Marty Mar, Marty Mar, how are you this yeah, fine? Marty, evening? all the time we got the shades. Looking cool. I'm doing great. Uh, just ready to get off work. Tired of work. <laughs> so like, I'm glad you threw work in there. Yeah, it's Monday. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to get off too. Of you already tired of it. <laughs> and there's DW over in the corner. How are you, D-Dub? I think Marty thinks a podcast is his job now. <laughs> He's like, I'm just ready to get off work. And so we could only hope that that was the case. Marty, you got, Marty, you got some comp time built up. You want, you want to use your comp time? Yeah, I'm going to take off Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, I'm good, man. So uh, shout out to Memphis Volleyball Academies, a 1,300 team place, third place at National. Nice. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Good job, not, ladies. Not the one you buy into. Um, what? One you got to win spots for. And oh, okay. Oh, you can actually buy into one? Yeah. Mm. That's the and we got special guests tonight. We got look at him, Papa White. Which it did. Papa oh, White, not come up for. Him. Oh, the name should have popped up here. Oh, because oh, the moving nope. around. He's moving Whoa. around. He can't stay in one place. <laughs> look, he's moving. Around. He's jumping around. <laughs> All right, Papa White, it. introduce yourself for us. Hi, I'm oh, Governor I White. Governor Tennessee. Gov- he's the governor. Oh, there he is. Papa White. Papa White. There yes. we go. From Memphis, Tennessee. So he's going to sit in the studio with us tonight. He got some opinions, too. He really wants to talk about his favorite president, Joe Biden. Oh, I love him. You is know, that- at one time, he actually threatened to whoop Joe Biden's boot tie. No, no. He challenged him to he a, a fisticuff. He challenged him to a manly duel of fists. <laughs> but look, let's talk about the That would have been abuse of the elderly. You know that, right? That was on... Um, Dang, what was that called at that time? Well, we can't Facebook? Nothing. Facebook? We, we got no, yeah, we got no memory here. Y'all got to start taking notes because we can't remember nothing we supposed Biden's to talk about. Biden's Non-Supporter Club. That's his <laughs> Facebook group. <laughs> the Biden Non-Supporter. I think that's over Y'all half of America. Y'all got to give him a follow. Re- him a that follow. reminds me of Al Bundy's No Ma'am Club. <laughs> no Ma'am Club. <laughs> yeah, because he hated women, right? Yeah, the, the women's hater, whatever it was. The Al Bundy Women Haters Club. He probably has Biden crashing his bicycle on a loop on that thing somewhere. It's probably happening in a loop anyway. <laughs> probably. All right, let's start off. Y'all want to start off talking about Joe Biden since we're there. And we're we're out here. For y'all. I got a nice video for y'all to play right here. Watch this. Listen. Oh, look, it's cool. You can see the camera. They can see you. And uh, it's the least consequential part of this whole meeting. God, he looks old. I promise. All right. That's conspiracy. God we're talking. save the queen, man. <laughs> he, he failed. <laughs> Uh, God failed, and then look, I hate to, it, I hate going, to blame God. But he don't even know which way he's going. <laughs> Why the heck? Would, look, so I was this after the queen. The queen. This dead. was like this two was days last ago. Last week. <laughs> yes. The this queen's was. been dead. Jamie knows the exact date she died. He cries about it every night. Why do the people cheer? It's too late to say. <laughs> That's right. I'm so puzzled because I, I didn't know that camera could see me. Terry, you could have inserted a song right there. He said it's too late to save her. You could have inserted Don't, don't Save, save her. her. She don't want to be <laughs> saved. <laughs> well, see, we got a plan ahead to do that. We got, look, here's some, uh, look, here's a funny version. Let's talk about this for a second. Uh, people making fun of him everywhere for it. This was on Saturday Night Live. We President Biden there. pardoned thousands of convicted marijuana users. <laughs> And it feels like maybe he celebrated with him a little because yesterday <laughs> Biden gave a speech at a car factory and opened with this. Let me start off with two words. Made in America. <laughs> I haven't now, seen let that. Let me respond with two words. Jesus H. Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Made in America. This week, President Biden pardoned. Yeah, I mean, that was almost worth letting it just go again. That's you good. You gotta be turning in your grave. <laughs> anyway, look, 
This man, look, there's a also a conspiracy theory on TikTok that he's mm. wearing somebody's wearing a mask that it's not even him anymore. They're not real smart either, are they? I was gonna I, I'm going to show you something even more troubling than the Biden God Save the Queen. And uh, did you see Fetterman? I was going to say, say yeah. the him and them two together. And he introduced Joe Biden. So do you guys know who Fetterman is? Yeah, the the Godzilla or the Frank the Frankenstein. Frankenstein. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. check this out. I them mean, this two. Is just it's like, like the Biden. who's on first get. Pause that. He's in a hoodie and gym This son of a bitch is in a hoodie (laughs) and gym shorts. This is a real, this is real, this real. The president and I were standing right next to each other at a collapsed bridge in western Pennsylvania. A bridge that I drove over just the night before with my young son. And he showed up. (laughs) He got chased across the bridge by people with pitchforks. That's what he meant to say. (laughs) Frank (laughs) Gensta. What? <laughs> what? Look, he don't know. He has no idea. He's like, tell us. Dear God, tell me. That was retarded. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he has no idea what he's talking about. Tell him that. Tell him you got two words for him. He is retarded. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? Which one? Both of them. We're gonna get banned again. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> Who's even talking? He's a senator. He beat Doctor Oz. Yeah. This is the guy that beat Doctor Oz in the election in fall. Can you play that shit? No, I cannot. That's terrible. <laughs> he did that. Didn't even do his name. <laughs> It's not even dude's name. Look, he's like he is so lost. <laughs> did, did y'all see where he called a uh, booty jab, booty juice? <laughs> no, but that's fine. Again, next to a, a collapsed bridge here, <laughs> and he is here. T- and now I'm standing next to the president again. He wasn't even sure who it was. Here, and he is here Look, to commit. That is two people that stays that did not know who he was. <laughs> he didn't know who he was. Dude. No, but that look on his face. Didn't man. either one of them know who they were no, talking to. No, I look. thought you had to be really smart to run for office. I'm beginning to think I got a chance. Dude, what I got to do is run. Shot, Make sure you hadn't messed with little kids. Actually, it's okay to mess with little kids, I guess, if you're a Democrat and you've been to Epstein Island or but whatever. But, I mean, it, then we sent this dude to China. Uh, we sent a guy to China, the uh, Secretary of State Blinken. Blinken? Blinken, Blinken. Anyway, Blinken, Winken, and Nod. Uh, Robin Hood been who we sent. Do, do, do you remember the scene from uh, uh, Robin Hood Men in Tights? He no. said, "Hey, Blinken." He said, "Did you say a Blinken?" Hey, Blinken. <laughs> what, is, what is that? Is that a mosquito? <laughs> mosquito trying to get my beer. Yeah, they like National your beer. Bird of Arkansas. <laughs> So, anyway, okay, Joe yeah. Biden. I'm sorry. Now, now Blinken went to uh, Ch- China. I got you. He I, went to China. I forgot my chain of thought. Thanks, John. But he went to China when he was bashing oh, Taiwan. He went to China, and he basically said that the U.S. will not recognize Taiwan as an independent state. But what that is is setting groundwork for when China invades Taiwan, yep. that we're going to sit there with a thumb up our ass and not do nothing. That's exactly right. Basically, yeah. Yeah, there's talk that, you know, so apparently Russia and China are stirring up trouble in northern Africa. We probably already made an agreement with China to buy our microchips. From well, the big guy. Twice the cost. It's the big guy, the right? Big guy, the yeah. big guy. The big guy. The big guy. So what they're doing in Northern Africa? I missed all this. So it's basically they're causing civil war there. They think that they're really instigating the civil well, war. Well, in fairness, you know, we've done our share of civil wars. It's our time to, it's our time to sit back. <laughs> let's, let somebody else do it. <laughs> So we're talking about Joe Biden. So a key witness in the Biden Burisma scandal reportedly found dead. This is on headlineusa.com. This may be some bullcrap news. But anyway, um, that is uh, one of the key whistleblowers in the Biden family. Burisma corruption scandal has been found dead, causing people to believe that the corrupt Biden family is responsible for his death. No one's surprised by that? Probably the No, I mean. It was a clown. <laughs> So, I'm here for it. I mean, I'm sure he called Hillary and said, hey, what do you, how do y'all do this? What do you do? Give me some advice. She said. Well, he probably just said, hey, uh, Hillary. Hillary I, said. I won't run again. Hillary said, hold your uh, Metamucil. I got you. 
So now, Jamie, you're a big proponent of the IRS hiring all of these agents, right? That that's something you've, you've uh-huh. said yes, here. And I love it. About love you want to be taxed. I think everybody ought to be agent. All right, so uh, Senator Jim Jordan Everybody. says an Everybody. IRS agent <laughs> claimed he can go into anyone's house at any time. Let, okay, that's that's one. Of the, uh, I can't remember the name. Oh, he got F, tongue tied. F around and find out. That's one of those things. Come in my house. Yeah, there's a thing called search and seizure. And yeah, he'll, he'll have a seizure when laying on my floor. Yeah, there's different household things that protect you. He can't just bust up. Hey, we learned this. That's the uh, Third Amendment. Hey, we did do four. the amendments. Man, we can't even remember. I know we can't. But, uh, yeah, walk in my house. Walk yeah. up in your house. Try me, to find give out. Give me my address. <laughs> 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 Look, Papa White said when he's done fist fighting uh, Biden, he'll take care of the I- I- IRS <laughs> agent. Yeah. My challenge is still open. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, you heard it here first. You heard it here first, Joe. Hey, I took bets on it, and you were like, the, you were the landslide favorite for sure. I so, mean, here, look, here, he'll fight Joe Biden, Joe Carter, uh, Joe, Joe, Joe Rogan. Rogan. <laughs> hey, y'all leave Joe, Joe Rogan. versus the Joe, volcano. Joe, he'll take on the volcano. He said, he said, he said Joe not Camel. Joe Rogan. Not Joe Rogan. He's a, he's a, he'll fight Joe, Joe Rogan. Joe Camel. Yeah, so. a Joe in the volcano. Joe Cool. If you're named Joe, you better look out. Papa White's on the prowl. He's he going to take care of Yeah, Joe Joe's Rogan's too close. Yeah. He might be able to find you. Yeah. So. Except Joe Rogan. He's not trying to fight Joe Rogan. Yeah. Don't hurt uh, my dad, Joe Rogan. So, Yesterday, this is coming out on Tuesday, or actually come out tonight, a video. Uh, anyway, there was a national holiday. It was a national June holiday. Juneteenth. Do y'all know what Juneteenth is all about? No, oh, but I texted uh, incorrect y'all English because stuff was closed and I was trying to. Oh, my wife was pissed. I N- thought that was a joke. Nike was closed. When you no, text, no, I was like. I dead serious. Mm-hmm. I done been to like four stores and they're yeah, closed. Yeah, yeah. So, I was like, is this a holiday? What's going on? Juneteenth. That's the day that. Uh, Slavery was abolished, and it's now no, it, no, no, it wasn't. It actually wasn't. It was only in Texas, right? That it, it, was abolished. it was in one place, it's Galveston, Texas, one spot. Hey, hold on, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, but that's not the day the uh, uh, Emancipation Proclamation was signed. It's not the day the last uh, slaves were freed. Not the day the Civil War ended. It is an irrelevant day that in one spot. It's a regional holiday. I think I've got a feeling though, in a couple by, within the next few years, it's going to be listed as national. Holiday. It, it actually is, it is, is listed as yes. national holiday, but it'll be more and more people. So it. actually, I went to boutiques today because tomorrow's my anniversary. So I was trying to buy something for my wife. It's Monday, and we've been traveling so much. So I got back and told Amanda, I was like, everything's closed. Blah 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 blah. Was you know they the guys say it's a holiday. She's like, they're always closed on Monday. I was like. Ah. Uh, it is a holiday, though. She said it's kind of like uh, beauticians. And oh, yeah, I think you're right. Probably about like, five or six years we'll have to hang stockings on our uh, fireplaces for Juneteenth. Look, it, it, the day somebody, that slavery was abolished. <laughs> Shoot, the day one. that slavery was abolished, that's a big deal. <clears throat> it is, uh, but this isn't it. Is. it. Yeah, I mean, but they, I guess it's just a day. It's a day. But there was also a shooting that occurred, a mass shooting. Let's take a look. Let's take a listen. What? At least 20 people were shot during a Juneteenth celebration. I bet the, I bet the shooter is white. That's why. Or watch the news clip. Once I heard Illinois, large group, it was. <laughs> yeah. They don't know how to act. If there's more than three, that's not where I'll be. <laughs> All right. Just for the record, that was a black. That's a black dude talking. I don't know how to act. Can we have that dude on the podcast? That's like the third highest win. That's the highest trip. Yeah. I'm black. So when they see me, they think, oh, man, he wanted it. No, no, I'm not one of them. I don't identify as one of them. Large group and Jordans and gold teeth don't go together. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> if you stay in the state of Illinois, do what you got to do and move far, far, far away. So you ain't got to see this shit. The only time I see y'all is on the goddamn news. I don't care if you got to walk, <laughs> if you got to run, if you got to skip. Get the hell out of the damn city. Let them tear it up by themselves. Illinois, at least. Well, that wasn't quite what so, I thought we were getting, but I think no, that gets so to when, the point. So when he says he's not one of them, he's not talking about black people. No. He's no. talking about he's not one of those people that run out and do that kind of stupid. He's not an idiot. Trash, exactly. Right? Yeah, I'm, yeah. Not, I'm not dumb. So do they ever say it was a shooter white? <clears throat> now, I most bad shooters are white, I just assume. And they're it. white males. I'm guessing it's not. Probably more important that we know. Your profile. We got another color of the gun. No, because if it was, it would be all over <laughs> oh, everything. Oh, it would. 
Look, my, my, that's my, all you'd hear. All of my favorite picture, though, after every mass shooting, they'll put a picture of Betty White up there. <laughs> Betty White. But anyway, Betty White. Betty White. They could call her Betty oh, Bullets White. Oh boy, that just flew all over my head. <coughs> I had no but, idea. Oh, it, it, I missed look, that. Too. It, a lot of this. That's a good joke. I mean, it is, isn't it? A lot of this has to do too with where the location is. It's Chicago. I, I, I mean, all right. yeah. So, speaking of which, Black Lives Matter leader charged for anti-Catholic hate crime. Recent data shows that anti-Catholic hate crimes increased by 260 percent between 2020 and 2021. Have Damn. you had a hate? Have you experienced a hate crime, Catholic man? Damn, look at look out! You got married in the Catholic church. I did. That makes you Catholic, doesn't it? No, I'm, I'm, beca- I'm, ca- I'm Catholic now. Take did me. you become Catholic? Okay, I, I did. Have thing. y'all experienced hate crimes? No, or but when speech? I went through the thing, I told I was. He got touched by a priest and everything. I, no, I told the priest. I said, "Don't he touch was, me." He was the altar boy. I said, "Hey, I'll come to this, but you know, that's since what, you guys, that's drink, what he said." I said, "I'm gonna bring a bottle of whiskey with me." He said, "Okay, bring me a six pack of Blue Moon." <laughs> Did you bring different. one? That's uh-huh. different. That's different than what they told us at James. Yeah, we you ain't lying. They didn't want to smell no alcohol. No, we drank, a, we drank beer. At the thing. That dude was a prick at my wedding. Look, hey, no, cool. Jamie's yeah. wedding. Yeah, he, oh, he I was, got a story about Jamie's wedding. Yeah, we happened to have a golf tournament that day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I got a story about my wedding. Well, I got, I got several. But we didn't have a golf tournament that day. <laughs> but me and uh, Marty it and was. Andy had a golf tournament that day, and the last thing. That the priest said is if y'all show up, anybody shows up smelling like alcohol, the wedding's off. And I'd Charlie like, laid it Jamie, down. Yeah, Didn't she? She said y'all better not come in here smelling like booze. You Dude. know, if y'all was really, you know my, how much we drank that morning. If y'all was really my friends, y'all have been drinking. Oh, we was. Oh, we don't <laughs> worry. Yeah, so don't worry. And look, the golf tournament went long. I remember. Yeah, well, yeah, oh, yeah we I was barely got there. Look, that, <laughs> what, what the, me what and Gary Scott was in the gym shooting basketball. Was that the Magnum? That Magnum was doing about ninety five from Osceola to West Memphis. It was the Magnum. And look. And we got there, and they, they could barely walk. I probably well, <laughs> they didn't say nothing about yeah, that. They, he said smell. Yeah, nothing I don't know. about. Can so we get there though, stand? and hell, everybody been drinking. They've been sneaking around drinking. So we roll in. We have this wedding. That's <laughs> first Catholic wedding I've been to. It way longer than a wedding should ever be. And then we go to the. I'm gonna tell the story right now. All right, Craig Williams. Sorry, shout out to Craig. <laughs> Craig. We go to the reception. Shout out to Craig. And Craig would not let us have a beer. Until his family got there, and then they drank all the beer. We end up bringing all our coolers into the right. reception at the Holiday Inn. At the Holiday Inn, my highlight of the wedding was a uh, is, is, is uh, the night before when you did the uh, rehearsal, and my mother in law oh, yeah. wanted, wanted everybody to, like when they walk down to the front, do a little kind of curtsy or bow or whatever. And Joe Carter comes up and like bows at the waist, like he's a chi- <laughs> like he's Chinese. Oh, he just, Asian. <laughs> <laughs> He did the real yeah, like Joe, Joe like look he's Japanese. Oh, so look, <laughs> we got off in the weeds. But so have you Catholics and non Catholics? Have you experienced any uh, this hate crime from the Black Lives Matter people? Oh, they're all farmers around here. Though. <laughs> so how do you identify Catholic? Like to give them even hate? Do you guess how? How do they even know yeah, that they go stand the outside the Catholic mm-hmm. Church? I mean, because if, if you say somebody drinking, you're Catholic. Catholic. Kind of blend in with the population. Well, they have margarita night. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if you see somebody drinking, yeah. playing bingo, Margarita they're bingo night. So you follow the bingo table. Are they, like beat, are they like beating up nuns? All right. <laughs> Look, you got bingo and margaritas. Like you're gambling and drinking at the same time, right? Yeah, this is a re- this is a denomination for me. I, We're I recruiting admit. people right now. <laughs> Let me see what for it what? says. St. Michael's. To what? Well, I mean, you can play on the basketball team? We're going to have bingo and drink margaritas. I'm down. What is it? It should be every Wednesday. If it's Monday and Wednesday, they'll do us no right. good. We're busy. Uh, now right, we're going to delve Thursday. back. I swore I wasn't going to get into this topic, but I can't, I can't help it. You know, Fox News got rid of Tucker Carlson. Now they're going woke. They, they encourage woke. employees to celebrate pride and implements woke AI. Um, they woke AF is what they are. <laughs> they need to go broke. <laughs> My dad tried to buy Bud Light tonight. They need to go broke. He tried to buy some Bud Light. Didn't you? I did. Oh, habits die hard, don't I told y'all he don't care. Actually, hell, that ultra's about the same. Anyway. Must have been out of date. Dad said, as long as the beer it. tastes good, he's here for it. I respect <laughs> that, Dad. But then he saw a Michelob, and he said, oh, well, I'll take that instead. And bought that instead. Well, I know y'all don't drink. Actually, we drink anything. <laughs> Actually, yeah, we drink anything. We're going to try some of that bourbon like. you bought. House drink, panel. Well, I drink anything free. 
<laughs> so did hey, Jamie. So I quit drinking Bush Light, and that banquet does it for me. It does. House panel defunds Chinese and Russian animal testing facilities, including the Wuhan lab. So we funded them <laughs> assholes that dropped the COVID yeah. on us. Are you surprised? No. We, it's basically fact now that it came from That's Wuhan, fact. but we've now stopped. I mean, we, we funded it. ISIS. Why would we not fund a research lab that gave us COVID? All I'm hoping is that at some point Panda Express has an awesome bat wing meal. And like we figure out what <laughs> we figure out what all this testing was for. That's pretty awesome. They be like, Jamie, all right, look, here's what Jamie, this was do a for. TikTok. We got bat look, wing. We bat wing to, and me, bat wing and me something totally Jamie, different. Jamie, do a bat wing. <laughs> you know what bat wing is, don't you? Bat, oh, bat wing and no. Jamie, do it. Not? I don't Jamie, guess so. I do, check out Urban Dictionary or something. Yeah, check it on Urban. I can't say it over here. I'll get banned. Uh, do, we need a TikTok of the bat wing at the Panda Express. Panda Express probably won't like it, but I we can't do, do a TikTok of bat wing. It'll be uh, I get arrested. Why? Bat wing means something totally different. Uh, of it's course, a, he it's would a know. vehicle that the Batman drives. That's a Batmobile. That's a no, Batmobile. he got a plane. That's a bat wing. That's a bat. No, it's a bat wing. Bat plane. Bat <laughs> wing. <laughs> what Jamie's saying? It ain't that. no number ten. No, this <laughs> bat plane. No, it's not. A, I, think, right I think we can share this. Okay, it's where, it's where your your balls so are says, sticking to your hold thighs. Hold on, now. you don't. You didn't want to share it. I'm not scared. Uh, okay. Right. I'm going to read it straight read it. from Urban right, Dictionary. Right, this is bat wing. Bat wings. When oh, one's, I know what that is now. <laughs> when you when one on scrotum it. sticks to the inner thighs due to oh, no, sweating in the groin bat area. Yeah, that's bat, bat wings. wings. Oh, so okay. if a sentence, like, you know, they use it in a sentence, it says, Batman says, it sure is hot in this cave. Robin <laughs> says, yeah, I know. I'm beginning to have bat wings. Batman <laughs> says that's very unnecessary. <laughs> All right. Um, speaking of bats and COVID and Wuhan. Terry was not entertained. He's all right. Yeah, well. I wouldn't have it. Next. <laughs> <laughs> hey, just so you guys feel safer, okay? I want you to feel safe now. Bill Gates has a new COVID vaccine that's been approved. Why does Bill Gates have it? I don't have any damn idea. He just came out. He got approved his vaccine. Because they can afford it. involved in making the disease. There. You know, you know. I started out one of our first ones talking about supervillains, and that causes, list gets longer. Yeah. Is Bill Gates a supervillain or is he a superhero? I think he's supervillain. Oh, he who causes super disease super holds the cure. That's the way it usually works. He but but full he, control. But he's definitely one of the nerdy supervillains, not one of the uh, strong ones. Dad, you want to challenge no fight? He I would be like the supervillain from yeah. The Incredibles. Okay. Remember that dude? Thursday yeah, he would be like that guy. Thursday night, eight thirty. Thursday night, eight thirty. Come on down, come Monday Papa, night to the Mid South Coliseum. <laughs> that's, where White gonna, that's where they're going to do it. Mid South right. Coliseum. Last week, RFK Jr., which is probably Jamie's favorite presidential candidate Dude, right now. He, he's going to be hard say, for after me listening nothing. to this interview. Listen to what he said, though. He don't give a shit. You have I like you had anyone debate you publicly about any of these? Nobody will debate me for eighteen years. Nobody will debate me. In fact. I've scheduled many, many debates, and I've asked oh, Hotez many, okay? many times to debate. Oh, he got voice problems. Yeah. You've asked him here, why don't you debate Robert Kennedy? And he said, he looks like a dad. lawyer or something like that. Mm, but, um, yeah. but I've debated Hotez on the telephone with, uh, you know, with kind of a referee. And, uh, you know, I, his, his science is, is, is just made up. He cannot stand by it. He can't cite studies. He kind of looks like he'd punch in well, the face. Well, he was trying to tell me that vaccines... He got some guns, though. Daddy and uncle got so shot. His daughter has yeah. autism. He yeah. wrote a book. Yeah. It, that, but I know, asked my him. My daughter doesn't have, that didn't get her autism from a vaccine, but I've read that book, and there is no science cited in that book. It's just him saying, you know, it didn't happen. And listen, <clears throat> I wouldn't wish that on anybody, and, I, and God bless him, and God bless that little girl. And, you know, I... Let's see if I know. Joe Rogan just got into a back and forth on Twitter, which is not something you see very often. Uh, this is the punchline, and this is what everybody needs to focus on. In 1960s, when I was a kid, oh, this is good. Six percent of Americans had Check chronic disease. Check this out. Check this out. What do I mean by chronic disease? Basically, three categories plus. I bet you he knows the facts. What you want to bet? One neurological disorders: ADD, ADHD, speech delay, language delay, tics, Tourette syndrome, narcolepsy, ASD, autism. Autism went. Yeah, he has one. One in ten thousand. One in ten thousand. It's still one in ten thousand in my generation. How old are you? Fifty-five. Fifty-five. I bet that you've never met anybody with full-blown autism your age. You know, head banging. 
football or a helmet on. <laughs> I'm toilet train. No, I'm really. Not listen, not listen to my say so. Check this out. Hey, take you anywhere. Check this out. One in 34 kids now have autism. That's autism. All right, that's an insane number. Meaning that description. Now, what's the conventional explanation for that? Well, I mean, there, there's no real explanation. You know, well, how do they try to? They, explain. they try to say, well, we're just noticing it more, Bullshit. which is no. ridiculous Bullshit. because you would know all, folks banging their heads. Studies that say that the you know really good studies like uh, Irva Hertzbichato is a very famous scientist, epidemiologist, biostatistician who was commissioned by the California State Legislature to answer that question. She's at the UC, uh, at, at the Mind Institute at UC Davis, and she came back and said, no, the, the epidemic is real. It's not, you know, better diagnostic or changing diagnostic criteria. And so, and that, you know, any... Look, listen I, I listened to most of it, and he talks a lot about Roundup, of all damn things. He makes some good points. Atrazine, which is another um, at plant killer, you know that's what that's got what your makes boy you Alex It also <laughs> what turns the frogs gay. I know turns the we'll probably get banned again. He talks about that gay. too. It turns well, the frogs gay. It turns the frogs gay. But he makes a statement in here, and I haven't looked it up. He says one in four black children are born today. Black boys are born. One in four have asthma. That's uh, there seems to be now. I don't know. I don't have anything factual to stand on other than what I've seen out like. No, that, no, that's As a cop yeah, anecdotal kind of thing. But yeah. Working ball games, stuff like that. It does seem to be a higher rate of asthma. Well, that's but the thing he's talking about chronic disease asthma. I mean, look, the dude makes some damn good points, and he sounds like he knows what he's talking. He's really about. smart. Now, like voice, I mean, the environment change. Look, okay. Aside from Papa White, everybody here is. Are you forty yet? Mm. Oh, you're you're you're, you're knocking on that door. He's he's thirty nine too. <laughs> so, I'm getting close. Both. Me yeah, so dad. I mean, like everybody else is. <laughs> Me and my dad you're, are both you're, 39. You might as well be yeah. 40. You'll be 40 in September, right? I'm not going to tell you that. <laughs> okay. You should know. So everybody will be 40. Terry, what, you're 60s? 53. He's 53. So, I mean, He's had a rough life. But, like, I don't know Closer people. 70. Well, <laughs> Me, but, like, I, I, don't, yeah. I don't. Yeah, but look. Look at him and Marty compared to each other. Hell, Marty looks as old as you do. <laughs> or, no, you look as young as Marty. You said the wrong way. No, Marty looks old. So, but the point is, I don't know people with autism. I don't know people. That's that, his point. Yeah, I know. That's, that's a, his point. I do not but know. But how many children do you know with on the spectrum, per se? A lot. Well, I don't really quite know any of them either. Yeah. But yeah, but quite, no, a quite a few. Oh, I, I, know I know quite a few. Oh, I don't say you're I take the back. I know several. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. think about it. And it didn't exist. Peanut allergies. He talks about that some. Peanut allergies. Did y'all know anybody as a kid that had peanut allergies? Not a soul. If not I soul. did, we took peanut school just mess with them. <laughs> yeah, we'd have, you'd probably murdered. Yeah, we thought we would have thought it was funny. You know, we wouldn't have known. Jamie no would have been like snort this peanut. <laughs> yeah, so, he's like, hey man, try this cool soda with these things in it. You know, people put coke and uh, had a funny joke, coke. but I can't yes. do it. <laughs> nuts, these nuts. But really, he makes some damn good points if you listen to him. Look, I tell you what, a ticket. I've heard Jamie talked about it, but a trick it, tick trick it, a ticket with he and Trump. There he has. I keep hearing oh, discussions of that, but though. would he run with Trump? They're both though. They're both outsiders. Uh, I don't know that he needs him. No, I don't think. So. I'm telling you now. If it comes down, to, if he primaries against Biden, he will be. Biden. Dude, if, if, if it comes down to Kennedy or Trump, damn it, I'll have to vote Democrat. What if there's a primary and it's Kennedy versus Biden? You gonna vote in the Democratic primary? Yeah, absolutely. If, in Arkansas, can you? Yeah, you just tell yes. them which one. Then absolutely, I'll I will go there and I will a, vote for him. He's a Democrat. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah I didn't he, even realize. That. I voted yeah. for. Uh, seems, uh, he seems to have a Uncle lot of Bernie. Now, he's a little. Primary. He's a little. Uh, I don't care for some of his uh, Second Amendment opinions, but in his defense, his uncle and daddy were, were both <laughs> shot. <laughs> were both shot. Yeah, I well. mean, you know, if somebody murdered your entire family, you'd probably be well, that good. In that situation, it wasn't the gun. It was the. No, it, it was one of them three letter places. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. But hey, he calls that out too. As, he, yeah. he point blank says that discusses that he could potentially be uh, assassinated. How much do you think that affects him not winning? Which I think it'll help him win. The fact that he, he people calls like us out will the, look at that and say he calls out the conspiracy theory. Well, so look, the people like us will look at that and say that's a guy that feels like I do. Did y'all hear the hard left will not vote for him? Hundred, I think it's a hundred percent like factual. I just dude. So I heard them talking about so 
look, the, the country is well divided, right? And the thing that we're missing, I can't remember who I heard talk about this, but uh, maybe it was Tim Poole. We listen to Tim Cast a lot as a group here. Like him a lot. Shout out to Tim Poole. But the thing that's missing, the government is now like, you know, the, the transsexual stuff. All of the government uh, will pay for your student loans. You're not nothing. You know what we're missing? The counterculture is no longer the counterculture. No. There's nobody challenging the government. Look, right. Mr. Terry, when you was a teenager in the 70s, Oh, good The gosh. long-haired people, they didn't trust anything in government, right? Have you ever seen Now we want to give in and kids won't. Dude, they'll just like, oh, yeah, they'll take care of it. When them. Rage they'll Against the them. Machines tells you to go get a vaccine. <laughs> yes. They, hey, y'all know hey those, you know who didn't, though? D. Snyder. I got a video about look, D. Snyder. You know all those pictures it. where it's got like uh, like the wife's holding a little baby or whatever, the wife's sitting there with her pretty long hair, and then it's got the dude, and he's in the top corner kind of faded out? Y'all know the pictures I'm talking about back in the 70s? Oh, yeah. They got, they got one. But, 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 so we're, why? Let's see. Cause People. he had like super long hair. Like, but but where is that right now? So there's a belief. It's not there. Yeah. There's a belief. You that know what counterculture is? For kids. Counterculture is being, God, it's weird to say. Counterculture is being Christian. It is. Conservative. That's, a, that's a crazy thing. Uh, so there's a belief. Proud, proud of being uh, straight. There's a belief that yeah, there's a group of kids that probably like our kids age down that are going to just say, this is bullshit. We're not yeah. dealing with this. Look, they I, are. I believe it. I, I can say it. this. Check out D. Snyder. Every, ahead, every, every friend of my daughters that I can think of off the top of my head is has Trump flags in her bedrooms. Um, I mean – like my daughter has a Trump flag fl- high, uh, flying in her bedroom right now. Well, that flying really, is hanging. My daughter really likes Trump, and no one from our family ever told her to like Trump. No, the same with us. Yeah. I, I'm not that guy. I'm not. I don't. Even, well, they're gonna try to like cancel y'all now. Check this out. This guy is from Twisted Sister. Oh, I got to turn the sound. Oh. On. Let me turn the sound on real quick. What's a Twisted Sister song? It's a hundred percent eye to eye with. They tried to cancel me song. because I didn't see I. One hundred percent eye to eye with a community that wanted me to be their to be to be the grand marshal. We're not party. gonna take it. Okay, with a community that I stood there with we go. Uh, and fought for for decades. He fought for and the gay sudden, community. One, I, as, as a parent, I disagreed with children's ability yes, to make exactly. cognitive decisions. That's the same stance. That, that's the problem. Exactly. If you don't agree I, I with them, one hundred percent, they don't want you. My fifth grandchild. And I, I and my. They may still want you if you're really sexy. They are not. Well, I mean, they all want me. And, I, and, uh, <laughs> and they were like canceled. And I, where's Paul Stanley apologized? I'm not apologizing. Not when I do nothing wrong. No, you I'm shouldn't. The first to you don't. When I screw up. But I, you know, and that's I the problem. But the left has, they, you know, the progressives have pushed <laughs> everybody <laughs> to the right. You're not canceling me. You're not shutting me up. Well, I mean, this is the guy. Me. His song was, "We're not going to take it." The truth is, gonna, if you don't agree with us, like he said, 100%, then you're wrong. That's, yeah. that's not, it's just no. not the way the world works. No. I it can does, disagree It does with you for we progressive can, liberal it's America. It's not right. Yeah, it does. So when we talk politics, uh, I've seen people say, so you like when Trump does this? Well, not really, but I like I like some of his policies. I like I his like fiscal policy. Does. I don't like how he does. No, I no. Some of his stuff's good. That's just like uh, Robert Kennedy. I, there's not, like I've heard I'm not big on his gun his gun stance is a little it's a little too liberal for me, but a lot of other stuff I like. You will not find a candidate. Well, I said that weird. Candidate. You will not find a candidate. You said it like you do COVID. <laughs> yeah, I did. Co- uh, COVID. COVID. Candidate. Candidate. You won't find a candidate that is 100 percent in line with what you. That you like everything he does. That's right. No, but have. but so what we do is we try to find the people that most represent what we want. No, you have friends that don't 100 percent agree agree with you, and that's okay. All right. Oh, that's not there. I got another story. This is a really sad story, Jack. It's almost funny, but it's so sad. A Dad, woman. Dad's getting <laughs> sleepy over here. A woman. We don't like much. A Thank woman you. who declined a ride from an intoxicated coworker. So earlier in the day, <laughs> an intoxicated coworker offered a ride. Later that evening, she was fatally struck by them. Jamie. They ran her ass over. <laughs> Jamie, what was her name? Why are you laughing? That's a sad That's what I should have done tonight. We was at uh, Lena 152. Look, both of these dudes are laughing over here. <laughs> According to authorities, it's a young not funny. woman. Well, hey, look, honestly, you probably should have just gotten a truck. A, a, a young woman from New York, age 22. It's not funny, but gosh damn it, I can't help it. Made the decision to decline her drunk co-worker's offer to ride in his car after a night out. Instead, she chose to walk. Later that same night, the co-worker struck and fatally injured her in a hit-and-run incident. That's got to be when it's your time, it's your time. 
She so, didn't get. They said she didn't get very far. Yes. Less than a quarter mile down the road, uh, she was walking along the shoulder, and he hit her with his Hyundai Electra. <laughs> according to a criminal complaint. Why are y'all laughing? This is terrible. Because your story, man, keeps getting worse and worse. <laughs> Look, uh, if if I die from getting hit by a Honda Electra. Look, I was holding that joke out. No, you know what? This dude was mad. Because he would have died. Hey. And I'd be walking on. He'd kill him. No, I would, da- I would destroy oh, it and still be standing. You would destroy the it Electra, still be standing. yeah. <laughs> Uh, look, the, the moral of the story is if somebody offers you a ride, you don't want to take it because they're intoxicated. You need to walk. Look, it gets worse. Listen, the moral of the story is, on. ladies, if anybody offers you a ride, just get in their vehicle. So he pulled <laughs> on to the shoulder and struck her. Then he got a mile down the road and crashed into a pole and the car burst into flames. <laughs> I told you this is when it's your time. It's your time. That's exactly what's going on here. This is not funny. Why am I laughing? It was both oh, yeah, of them. I don't know. That's terrible. It's Did my they delivery. both die? It's your delivery. That's what no, it is. It's, it's your fault. He didn't die. It's, it's the delivery. Mm. He was just um, the... Uh, read well, the, do the story about the uh, guy that went to a uh, school board. Oh, well, let me find the video. We'll play That's video. terrible, man. It's like, terrible. You, you and Jamie thought the funny shit he no, heard all week. No, 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 no. I, I was laughing at Papa White. That's what it was. Yeah, I bet. I bet that's what y'all were both. Yeah, well, he looked at me and laughed. I looked at him and laughed. Y'all know Ginger's going to get on to me over that story, by the way. Yeah, she goes, that's terrible. (laughs) It is a terrible, it's sad. It's sad. The way you said it, it was funny. (laughs) I'm sorry. Look here. Still got it. Okay, yeah. I'm not Look, sure what he We has. got banned for. Yeah, he, I guess a belt. Yeah, well, like now we get banned belt. because you he reached into You get Diane's a fly swatter. Don't be lying. He hit you with a two by four. <laughs> Jamie, what was that hey, story about? I got to look right it up. There? I thought I had it, but I didn't. Father uh, canceled after school board meeting. No, uh, father uh, fired. You going to send you a link? Well, I got the link on my phone. I need it here. <laughs> Is that the Massachusetts School District? Massachusetts. It was a, yeah, Mas- Massachusetts. It was a Sarasota. <laughs> Sarasota. Massachusetts. Father Toss from New York School Board meeting. Uh, I, God, I can't find it. Well, I'll be. You so, mean just read the story? So yeah, in read the story. In the meantime, story. since my dad's here, one time, we, Jamie Uh-oh. had to read the story in a second. We got to tell at least the dad's story since he's here. So one time, Jamie had been at my house. Jamie lived Which with Which story me. are we going to tell? The Father good one. Fortenberry lived with, with no. me for what? <laughs> Probably three years. Yeah, it's a good three years. Yeah, yeah three years in high school. Uh, just go to a group view on this. We'll you can write a book. View. Yeah, go to a group view. Yeah, cause we got to get uh, Papa so, White's. Uh, so <laughs> me and Jamie, no joke, shared a king-size bed for probably eight years of our lives. And, and, and we could have used a full-size just because we slept so close. Yeah, but. you know. <laughs> We could have easily. Was he his hairy that. back then? Probably a twin. We could I have probably, on a twin. I had more hair back then. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> so he was much more. Pr- there's lots of funny stories, then. but um, he comes in. Dad's like, I guess he's finally had enough of Jamie after three years, <laughs> <laughs> and he tells him, "He, my dad calls everybody baby back in the day, uh, baby or dad," and he'd be uh, like, hey, he told Jamie, "said Hey, baby." <clears throat> Look, we love you, but it's it's time for you to move on. Like you gotta go on. Look, I guess the grocery bill got too high. I, don't know. I was putting a dent in that grocery bill. Uh, <laughs> Jamie was all sad and everything. I think hey, my, dad, your dad was sad. We, and then my dad got sad, and then he came in there and he was like, it was like twenty minutes later. He was like, "Hey, Diane, cook some supper if you want to eat something." <laughs> So about two weeks goes by, Jamie comes over and he's like, I'm just I'm just staying the night, Mr. Terry, you know, blah, blah. He's like, all right, it's good to see you, you know, son, whatever. And the next thing you know, Jamie's at my house three more years. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> he yeah, just had to take a break. He didn't yeah, Jamie. I helped him throw the suitcase. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how about, look, uh, Papa White brought us uh, something to taste on he tonight. He did, did he? He did, yeah. Do, uh, James, or Donnie, put that in front of the camera here. We got some tr- contradiction bourbon, not contraceptive which bourbon. Which camera we got here? Well, it's dragging. It got a big a lag. There we go. Well, it doesn't on the video. We did we just open it, too. We yeah, Jamie, yeah, like, Jamie, see if you pull that top push. and uh, we tried it. Watch this. this is it's contra stuff. contraceptive bourbon. This one, make sure she doesn't get pregnant, Jamie. Contradiction bourbon. Got a nice uh, elephant on the front. Smooth amber. Let's take a sip of this stuff here, Jamie. You gonna pop that top and see what look. kind of what kind of smell we got there? Oh, hey, oh, fancy. What kind of smell? What kind of what kind of uh, nose you got on this dude? <laughs> I don't. It know. It smells like alcohol. There we go. Oh, Gary. That's Gary. Gary. That's what I I guess. So so we don't get all 
discombobulated. Take the first pull. That way, work around. Smells like alcohol. It, it does smell good. It, it smells really good. It Terry, does. I'm a little concerned when you sniffed in your nose made noise. <laughs> <laughs> you got to make sure. No, you got to do it with your mouth open, right, Marty? Go. Yeah. Go. <laughs> got a store. <laughs> Keep in mind, we can stick our mouth on that. <laughs> Man gets drunk from sniffing alcohol. Mm. Gets hit by what was that? A launcher? <laughs> Boy, that got to tell you. That's pretty good. It's, uh, that's so, uh, pretty good. It is, it is it is a cool bottle. Uh, Contradiction 92, bourbon. Was it 92? 94. 92 proof. No, 92, 92 proof. proof. Um, Boy, I don't got no hug. And so nothing. it's got uh, ultimate, this gold medal 2022 ultimate spirits challenge, the Ascot Awards. I'm not sure what that is. That's that thing you wear around your neck. No, nah, I know what se- Ascot if is. If you're sexy, you wear an Ascot. Yeah, Sasquatch. Not an Ascot. Not when you ask guy. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that's what two of them. that's what happened to you in that bed that night. Your ass got. <laughs> I got one of those awards too. Well, that's then. good. That really is good. That's good. Time, man. Well, I'm sorry. I had to. I had to play it up for the fans. Bottle, for the fans, all five of them. Y'all need to go change. listen and like and all kinds of stuff. Subscribe. Solid. There's nothing wrong with that right I there. Still, uh, that that that's really good. Solid. No, it tastes. Uh, I'll let Marty say it because he knows what it tastes good. like. It's good. Oh, yeah. Mar- Marty's the, the connoisseur over Marty there. Marty said it, and I, I don't want to steal his thunder, but I think he's right. What's it taste like, Marty? It still tastes like a Buffalo, buffalo Trace. trace. It I think like it tastes like alcohol. Trace. It definitely have a Buffalo. No, that's, yep. that's really good. <laughs> it is. It was, uh, we paid 40 He paid 45 for mm. I yeah. figured that's that. That's I mean, Look, that's definitely something we never tried before. Uh, oh, I got dad with me. I ain't paying for nothing. <laughs> All him. right, boys. I think All we've right. had a good show. Let's play. I'm gonna play us out. All right. Hey, I tell you what. We'll start with uh, Papa White. Papa White. Say final words. Part words. Speak into the mic. You gotta say like a goodbye, like a final words. Change me. Change goodbye. Me. <laughs> Marty Ma. See y'all next time. Thanks, Papa White, for coming. D Dubs. I ain't really got nothing. It was a good time. I'm glad to be back. Dang, I lost Father Fortberry. Oh. Happy Juneteenth. <laughs> Juneteenth. <laughs> hey, look, some we need some followers, some watches. Go do subscribe. something. Subscribe. Find, subscribe. Find us. Love us. I'm living in the clouds and I Yo, we out of here. Somebody done saved this. Outlaw. Had to give Hoggo a drink.